Hi everyone, my name is Manu Bhardwaj. I'm the founder and trainer at PTE for 199 Australia. And I welcome you to my another edition of video. I have a very special guest today with me, Ms. Srishti Oli, who has recently achieved seven each 65 plus in PTE examination with a hopping 82 in speaking section, which is amazing, very inspiring for all of the, all of the students who are targeting seven each and are struggling. So we are going to talk to Srishti to understand how the journey uh, you know, was and how did she prepare for this amazing result which she has got today. Uh, talking about Srishti, Srishti has joined us in the month of uh, March, April. Yes, Srishti? We, have, yes, we started, we started yes. training in March but because of back-to-back uh, -back COVID uh, lockdowns and restrictions, the yes exam got postponed again and again and that's why we couldn't sit in the examination so many times yeah mm -hmm. Srishti is originally from Nepal an amazing beautiful country um, at the north side of India and uh, welcome Srishti uh, first of all to this session thank you so thank much, for, much, thank you so much for, for welcoming me right this time thank you so okay. much it's an uh, honor to have you with me in this interview session Srishti mm -hmm. uh, well uh, you know, I don't want you to, you know, take PT for 199's name and my name because uh, what I strongly believe is, you know, it is always one or two percent contribution from a teacher's or a trainer's side. It is always 99 or 98 percent of students' efforts. So definitely the kudos or the credit goes to you for all this preparation because I had a very little guidance on you. This is what I believe in. Yeah, no, so no. I'm going, to, I'm going uh, to ask you five questions yes okay. you were saying something sorry Sushi. because uh it's not only 90 percent we do but actually it's depend on 50 or i think 60 percent by the teachers if you won't guide us like if you won't give us any recommendations like how to do it like a save summarize spoken text anything definitely i'll not get like seven it's it's true sir Okay, and thank you so much. Well, I'm going to ask you five questions, Swishti, and it is uh, strictly um, towards helping other students who are currently struggling with the score. Yeah, so I'm going to ask you five questions. Um, okay. Be absolutely genuine and honest about uh, your personal experience. Yes, yeah? yeah, sure. Okay, uh, first of all, is PTE an easy or a difficult examination? Um, I feel like definitely before it was difficult, but after getting into your class like every day, reading, writing, you know, practicing every day, definitely then I think now after getting saying, I think like, oh no, it's, it's easy actually. <laughs> if you know well, definitely it will be easy for you. So basically, if you know what you are doing, yeah, you understand how to commit or do it, attempt a task in PTE, yeah. it becomes really easy for you, right? So it's all yeah. about clarity yeah mm -hmm. okay um the second question is definitely the most uh, um you know uh, discussed questions in the sessions whether online classes how they are different from physical classes because there is a myth in the market that mm -hmm. uh, you know a student can get a better understanding from an offline class than an online class so what do you what, what are your thoughts um, so like for the face-to-face -face class, like you can discuss with the teachers like face-to-facely -face, whatever you like to discuss, you'll get some time. But in uh, in online class also, you discuss the particular things, right? The main point you discuss and if you get that point, definitely that would be so much enough to get desired score. So did you, did you, did you find any difference between online and online and online and offline classes? <sighs> I don't feel so much different like mm -hmm. because a long time ago I have did like face-to-face -face class not much difference but you teach me so much main points like you have mentioned so many things to us that definitely that is also big things like staying at home and then do practicing you can focus on different things like you can practice in laptop or what you discuss but if you be in a face-to-face -face class maybe you'll be disturbed by other uh, friends as well true true I agree Okay, which sections, uh, Srishti, were you weak before joining and how did you work on those sections? Uh, I was weak on listening section actually. Mm -hmm. uh, speaking was my good and I was, especially I was worried for the reading section, mm -hmm. but reading was also good for me. But listening was quite weak for me. I don't know why if I, I don't catch or 
some words sometimes they will speak very fast that i cannot catch some words but it's definitely you have given some of the points like summarized written uh, spoken text if you know the patterns or similar words you have explained me about the grammar rules definitely that will apply in that uh, reading section so i uh, i did more and more listening sorry then mm -hmm. got my score so consistency yeah. of practice is the key if you yeah. practice more definitely you're going to get through it yeah just okay. for whatever the speaker was talking about don't focus on anything whoever is speaking or doing anything the sound just ignore that yeah so very very important you know concentration and focus in the examination and especially when we talk about listening section it is the most scoring and important section of pte examination because it contributes majorly to your writing score as well yeah mm. Okay, what was your study plan? Because there is a myth in the market that you have to study for the entire day to be able to prepare for PT examination. Is that true? No, no, no. I didn't prepare actually because oh. <laughs> I didn't prepare that much before exam. I've just revised uh, like what is my weakness. Just revise for that. If you have practiced from long time, don't practice too much. It will make your mind so confused. Just practice whatever is your weakness. If you feel like you whatever, just three four points you are in weak that means just revise for that not like you have to learn you have to do that don't do like that just do, just go for it that's it yeah, so over practice is bad as i always told my I students yeah. very very bad very bad and it is very important to analyze your weak areas most people what they do is they don't analyze what the weaknesses are and they go unprepared in the examination that way yeah yes. it is not recommended so you know srishti has said very correctly you need to know your weaknesses and work on them very yeah. very important last but not the least srishti what are uh, your tips for the students who are struggling for uh, pte 7 each or 8 each in the examination I think the trick is like as you have mentioned before um just see your pronunciations your vocabulary like only your fluency especially this three is most important for every task for speaking for reading think the grammar rules don't think too much it's don't think don't go too much depth about the grammar rules just know some of the things then you will be you will get definitely it's safe absolutely absolutely because yeah. reading section is maybe the most commonly uh, worried area for many uh, of us you know who are uh, going for pte examination so yeah do not think much about it just understand and know few of the grammar rules which can come handy in solving some questions in pte examination it in reading whatever we speak in our you know real life definitely it will come the same way so if you think past way no 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 only the the way you speak in daily life that definitely yeah, apply that, that means uh, pt reading is not technical correct it's very basics you know it's so basic things like basically how you speak it comes to that exam also exactly exactly thank you so much rishti thank you so much for joining with me and sharing your experience i wish you all the very best and stay in touch with pt for 199 god bless you all the very best thank you so thank much you, for bye